Hello, this is Ralph Mayer with Midlands Technical College, and I just wanted to share this little video vignette on how to add a YouTube video to D2L. I commonly get asked that question, but I guess the better question is, or the best question here, is to ask, what is the best way? Because there are several ways to do it. One way we're going to take a look at is how to copy and paste the video URL to D2L. It's probably the easiest way, but it has some consequences you may not like. The other way we're going to look at is how to use the new link feature in D2L. That gives you a little bit more control of your video. And the next way is how do we use the insert stuff feature to D2L. The insert stuff is a very technical term, but uh, it works great. But we can do that to insert the video URL link into D2L, but we'll get a different consequence than we do the first way we were talking about a while ago. Or I can use it to insert the video embed code into D2L. That gives me the most control over what the students see in my resulting video. So let's take a look at each of those in turn. Okay, so the first of those methods we're going to look at is how do you copy and paste the video URL into D2L. So let's go over here to content. I'm going to click on my content button. And I've got a series of modules down here, but notice this module, the first one says YouTube videos. I'm going to click on that. And I've got two in there already, but let's add a new one by using the copy URL method. I'm going to go to new document, click on that, and then I am going to go to insert quit link. Well, I've already copied. I had to go to YouTube, YouTube first and copy my URL, so I've already copied that, and, and all I did was paste it here. And my link caption, notice I've got a red asterisk, so it is required. I would say, uh, see here, for example. Now, I also have a choice. Do I want to open it in a whole window, the same frame, or a new window? I usually like to open it in a new window because it separates it out, and then insert. And that's what it looks like. As I scroll down the page, it's going to allow me to publish this. So click on Publish. Oops, it requires a title. Let's call this one um, Blood Pressure URL to just show us this one straight from the URL. And then I come down again, try to publish again. And now I'm just going to back up on my breadcrumb trail here and go back. So now we're back in the YouTube videos, but notice now we have a new one. Here's what I want to show you. That's easy, but here is the result. When the student opens up, they're going to say, see video here. All you have to do is click on it. But now notice that not only do you get the video here, you also get the video. You get all these other suggested videos. And depending on what topic you're looking at, some of these suggested videos can be rather interesting, to say the least. All because you just copied the URL. So it's taking you to the YouTube page. Okay, let's look at another way to do that. Okay, we just went back to our content page. So the next way I want to show you is how to use the new link feature in D2L. So over here, all we do is click on new. I'm still notice inside my module. Click on new. It pulls up this little new link window here. So I title it. Let's say we'll call it blood pressure new link. And I'm going to paste my URL that I got from YouTube right there. I'm going to say open it in a new window, then I'm going to create. Topic created. Now notice several things here. As I scroll down, first of all, it is much bigger. It was. Uh, you can always resize it by just going here, go to full screen, and you can often change the quality. But here, as I play it, notice I don't have all of the other extraneous things around it. But here's one of the interesting things. When I let's let's go ahead and click down toward the end. I want you to see the end of this video. As the video finishes, watch what will happen. As it ends, notice that all the other potential videos come up. You may or may not want that, but that's your choice. And sometimes, again, depending on the topic you're selecting, these suggested videos here they're all healthcare. They look decent, but I've seen some interesting things that you may not want students to be distracted by. So now let's go look at a third method. Okay, so we've just copied and pasted the video URL to D2L. The second one, we use the new link feature in D2L. But the third one, we're going to use the insert stuff feature in D2L to, first of all, insert the video URL link into D2L. So to do that, again, we go to New and go to New Document. This time, we're going to come down to this cute little button here called Insert Stuff. 
So I'm going to click on Insert Stuff, and notice it has a variety of things you can put in here, but all, one of them is Insert Link. So if I insert link, again, I'm going to paste that video link in there, then say Next. There's my preview. It's just showing me my width and height, which I cannot change. That's fixed. The title of the video, then I can, if that's what I want, I say Insert, and it inserts in there. After that, I come down to publish it or save it as a draft if I want to work on it later. Oops. Requires the title again, so let's call this one Blood Pressure uh, in, yeah, Insert Stuff URL. We will come down and publish that. Now, when I back up to my YouTube videos right here, going back to that module, which is right here, as I scroll down, I'll see that here's this one. So I click on this. What does the student see? Not bad, but they get a pretty small picture. This is what the student's looking at. Uh, they can start it and play it right here. And as it plays through in here, and I want to show you again back toward the end. What we Well, first of all, notice how small it is. Now, as a viewer, I can go right here and I can go full screen with it. I can hit my escape key, take it back to where it was, but those are the only two choices I have. I can always change the quality. I can bring this up depending on what quality it was shot at. I can change the quality over here, make it look a little better or a little worse, or change my download speed. But here's what I wanted to show you. As we get toward the end again, and once again, we have all types of other video suggestions here at the end. Notice you still don't have all the extraneous stuff and the ads around it, but you still have this. And I can't control that at this point, but I'm going to show you how you can. How you can change that and control the video the most is by, again, going back to insert stuff right here, but then we're going to insert the video embed code into D2L. That code gives us lots of control over how we want the video to look. But if I'm going to insert an embed code, what is an embed code and where do I find it? I go back into my video. I'm back inside of YouTube again. I'm going to scroll down to where it says share this video. When I click on share this video, it gives me a URL right here that I can put in. But notice the word embed. If I click embed, it gives me a code that I can copy and paste and put in there. However, I want to show you how you can control a few things. Normally, when you click on embed, it comes in a size of about 640 and it says show suggested videos when the video finishes. So what I always do is I want to change my size. So if I want it to be a little bit bigger, I'll come down and choose a different size. But I'll also uncheck this button here so that it does not show suggested videos when the video finishes. That gives me a nice clean install without all that extraneous stuff. Once I do that, and each, each parameter I change here changes the embed code. So I change these first, then go in and copy the embed code. Once I've got it copied, now we can go back to D2L and insert that in there. So to insert it by embed code, we're going to go back. We're still in our module here. Notice we have these others we've already built. I'll go to New. Again, go to New Document. Look for my Insert Stuff button here. Not Insert Picture or Image or Link, but Insert Stuff. This time, I'm going to go to Enter Embed Code. We go inside our Embed Code box, and then we just right click and paste the code that we previously had copied. All you have to do there is say next. One last thing we have to do here is publish it. Bring it down. And once I like it, I go in and publish it. So our video is playing. It's almost at the end, as you can see. But at the end, this time it will not bring up all those other extraneous things. Notice what it does. It just goes back to the beginning ready to watch again. So you have no distractions whatsoever from your video when you use the embed code and you choose that option not to bring up those at the end. So just as a quick review, the first thing we did was copy and paste the video URL into D2L and when we did, we got everything straight out of YouTube. All the ads, all the distractions, everything else. When we use the new link feature, that minimized some of that, but we still got the videos at the end that they think you might be interested in. When we use the insert stuff feature in D2L to insert the video URL link, it was very similar to this one, but you still got the information at the end. But when you choose the embed code, and again, use an insert stuff to do embed code, you can control the size and the information around it.
So I hope you find some helpful ways to load your YouTube videos into D2L from this little video. Thank you.